Hello, thank you so much for coming back to join me for a very special video. So today I'm actually going to be collabing with another YouTuber here to do a drugstore springtime look. So this is the look I created. I am collabing with Casa Lee. She is here on this platform, like I said. She is a very awesome person. She does beautiful looks. So um, make sure you go, after you're done watching this video, go watch hers. Really, really appreciate it. Um, we both are doing springtime makeup looks using drugstore products. So without further ado, if you'd like to see how I created this look and what products I used, then please keep on watching. Um, and like I said, go, go watch hers as well. I'll have her YouTube channel linked down below. I know you would absolutely enjoy her content. I know I do. So go watch and subscribe. So if this sounds interesting to you, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget beauty. So it can be a tutorial, a makeup look, skincare, fragrance. It really does depend on the day of the week. So make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, bookmark the page that we can come back and watch whenever you would like to. Um, I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I love getting to know my viewers and subscribers. So come hang out, come chat with me. I would love to get to know you. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, I was super happy when she reached out to me and asked me to collab with her. We talked over a few things, so let us know down below in my comments and also on her channel if you'd like for us to collab again. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I already had my brows on. Um, just thought I would get those out of the way. So there we go. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be using all drugstore makeup, both of us are, so. Um, let me go ahead and prime my eyelids. I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, so just go ahead. A really good primer still. My favorite is the Ofra, but this one is a good primer. So I'm super excited. Today I'm going to be using, this is a palette I've had for a while, but I've never used. It's the Wet n Wild and Pac-Man collection. And the reason why I wanted to use it today is because there are a ton of Beautiful, bright shades that I thought would look beautiful for this eye look. You know, it's springtime. We need some color. That's why I'm wearing my colorful shirt. So, okay. So, I think the very first shade I'm going to go into is this yellow shade right here in the middle. And I'm just using a very large brush. A little bit powdery, but it's okay. It's a matte, a colorful matte, which that can happen a lot, so... Okay, I'm just gonna use this as my transition right above my crease area. Whoa, it's pigmented. It could definitely be more pigmented, but I'm gonna go ahead and build it up. That's the thing, is you can always build up color. So Okay. It's looking pretty nice so far. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this kind of corally shade right here. And I'm gonna just put that a little bit into my crease. I'm gonna, yeah, put that deep into my crease. Start getting that yellow and orange kind of blended together. that orange is pigmented. Really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into the yellow shade and get that orange a little bit more buffed out and just reinforce that orange shade. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm grabbing a different brush and I think I'm gonna go ahead and dip, get into this hot pink shade and I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get that placed on my outer corner and a little bit into the lower crease. Just that way there's a really nice blend. I'm 
go ahead and dip back into that pink. I'm just going to put it all the way across the lid lightly. Just want it to be very light across the whole entire lid, a little bit darker in the corner. Go ahead and dip, dip back into the orange and pat, just gently pat it to the crease. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX glitter glue and I'm going to just place a little bit on like the inner third of my lid, just using a very small amount, because it's, as of right now it's a completely matte look, which you could just totally leave it like this, but I'm going to go in ahead and go in with this top coat right here, it's beautiful, and I'm just gently going to pack that right over that glitter glue. It's beautiful, very shimmery. Looks very, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dip back into that hot pink shade and just reinforce that pink and just gently, gently kind of pat it over that line so that way it's a little bit more blended. Okay. I think that's looking really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera. We'll come back and we'll start off. Okay, so here is the eye look so far. We'll finish up the under eye after I'm done putting on foundation. So I'm gonna be mixing two full coverage foundations. I'm gonna be mixing the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear and the CoverGirl Outlast Active. This one's too dark, this one's too light. We're gonna mix them. I'm just gonna be using my Yeo Twin Puff. Honestly, this is all I've been using to apply foundation. So I'm loving this still. I've been using this for a little over a month. So, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this onto the skin. Okay, so I'm going to be mixing two um, e.l.f. Um, camo concealers. One is the e.l.f. Hydrating, and the other is just the regular. So I like mixing them. It gives it a nice kind of satin finish. And it also helps lighten the hydrating one. So I'll have everything linked down below for you. But really, really good full coverage, a very, very affordable um, concealer. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Powder. And I'll just go ahead and get the makeup set real quick.
I think the skin looks really, really pretty. The um, powder does have a little bit of luminosity to it, so it does it won't make your skin look dry or like super duper matte, but it really helps to set the makeup. So I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline City Bronzer. And this is in the shade, I think this is in the medium. It's a little bit dark, but I'm gonna be using a large brush. But this is what it looks like. It's very warm toned, but it's really, really pretty on the skin. I'm gonna be using a large um, bronzer brush. This is the e.l.f. and Nabella Noir um, little collab. And I'm just gonna take just a very small amount, tap off the excess, and go in a bronze. Okay, so looks a little warm on me, but it's okay. We're gonna put on blush and everything and it will come together, but really, really nice bronzer. It is very, very nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the under eye. And I think what I'm gonna be starting out with first is I think I'm gonna dip into the pink shade. Um, and I'm just gonna use a large brush and just start getting that smoked out. I'm going to use a smaller pencil brush and dip into the orange shade. I'm going to put that a little bit closer to my lash line. Just to do a little bit more of a gradient. I like that, that looks nice. Okay, so I think just popping on some mascara. I really love this eye look. I like kind of like the sunset, it's very bright, but I still feel like it's very, very wearable. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Serve and Sculpt Palette in 500. I'll be picking up this slightly shimmery kind of coral blush. And just tapping that on the apples. I think that looks stunning. Um, when I think of springtime, I think of like luminous skin. And even though I have combo skin, with the powder and with the blush and everything, I feel like it's giving the illusion of luminosity, but my skin is still very much well set and it's gonna be long lasting. Okay, I'm gonna be going in with my setting spray before I do my highlight. So I'm gonna be going in with the CoverGirl um, Outlast Active Setting Spray. So that really did kind of help to start melting the powders together. Okay, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Holographic, um, and this was in the shade 50. It's very kind of icy, if I can open it. It's a very icy highlighter. It's gorgeous. This is a glittery highlighter, so if you don't like glittery highlighters, this won't be for you but I don't mind a glittery highlight. I think it looks beautiful. Once again, super luminous, super glowy. I'm gonna take a little bit of this on my finger and I'm just going to pop it on my inner corner.
really, really pretty. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara. I lost my mascara. Of course I did. Where'd my mascara go? I found it. I'm just gonna be using the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara. Great, great mascara. It's great. Just you wait. Okay, so to finish off the look, I'm going to be going in with kind of a nudie, pale lip gloss. Um, I think it would just kind of go better with the eyes. You could definitely go in with a matte lipstick, but I'm going to be going in with the NYX Lingerie um, Shimmer, and this is in the shade Shy. Let's go ahead and get this on. I really, really love this look. Um, the palette, while it was a little dry and dusty, you can definitely build up some intense color. I really love this um, bright eye look. I love the skin. The highlighter is extremely glittery, but like I said, if you don't mind a glittery highlighter, it's beautiful. Um, so I love the skin. The bronzer, told you it would kind of work its way out. Yeah, with the blush and everything, I think it looks really, really nice. So there we go. Like I said, I will go ahead and um, link Ka's YouTube channel down below. Go send her a lot of love. Go subscribe. She's an absolute, absolutely amazing um, person and also um, content creator. I know you'd really, really enjoy her. Plus, she does like drugstore, but she also does high end from time to time. I don't do high end because I'm budget, but she does a mix of both, so I know you would really enjoy her. Like I said, link down below for you. But anyway, um, I hope you did enjoy this springtime look and collab with Casa Lee. Um, if you did, please go on and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. What are you most excited for for spring? Let us know down below in the comments. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam babe. Just so you know, I do have another channel. It's called Gourmet on a Budget. And I upload on that one seven days a week as well. Um, it's all about budget food, so recipes and taste tests and shopping hauls. So make sure you do go subscribe. Um, don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.